It's a big day in Nanaimo where officials have unveiled the $10.4 million airport upgrade that will make direct flights beyond Nanaimo possible. It comes in the middle of an economic downturn, of course, uh, so there is hope that this could be part of the city's turnaround. Excitement's building for Lisa Cunyon as she heads to the arrivals area at Nanaimo's airport. Her longtime friend from Calgary is aboard this jet and here for a long overdue visit. It's awesome. I haven't seen her in a couple of years. So what's the occasion? Just visiting. New baby to visit. Oh my God, so adorable. <laughs> so adorable. This one here, so cutie. Soon there could be direct flights between Alberta's two largest cities and Nanaimo, shortening the trip that separates these two college friends. We're hoping to get uh, service to the Pacific Northwest within the next six months or so, and then service to Western Canada, direct service to places in Western Canada in the next 18 months or so. The optimism is in the wake of the new expansion of Nanaimo's airport. Officially unveiled today, there's an extended runway that will now be able to attract 737-sized aircraft, an instrument landing system to improve reliability in poor weather, and a remodeled terminal. Our communities are growing so quickly, we have to offer more reliable, uh, larger service to meet that growing need. But that optimism begins to sputter when you look at the unemployment numbers in this city. The creation of jobs, of course, is important to us, and uh, it's been a topic on people's minds recently. The jobless rate here is the highest in the province, and in this economic slowdown, there's growing concern about the future. So a group of concerned citizens is rallying to see the city of Nanaimo move forward. It is baffling us. It has always been baffling to us, because we, all the businesses in Nanaimo, with a few exceptions, struggle. So why is that? They say especially considering there's a university, regional hospital, an airport and the biological station based here. So community members are crafting a vision for the city on October 5th. We want the city to go through a metamorphosis. He's raised $160 million. Former B.C. Premier Mike Harcourt will be part of that discussion and hundreds of people are expected to lend their opinions as the city builds the amenities it needs for a promising future and creates a plan to make it happen.